Who's that? Radio station. Right now? She's the morning show. <laughs> but she's in the car driving home from the morning show. <laughs> it's, singing? She's a, it's Cody from The Wolf in uh, Kansas City. Uh, she said, warning number one, uh, don't scare anyone around you, it's loud music. Warning number two, I'm singing. <laughs> so... She's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. She's crazy, man. She can't sing very well, but it's okay. That's totally cool. At least she's singing a good song. That's right. That's awesome. Speaking of good songs, we're your trying to song write some. It's like at number seven right now on Billboard and Media Base. Yes. You want us to give you? I'm sorry. I, I just want to say that. One, I just want to hear myself say that one more time. I want you to say. I want you to say what Preston's about to say. Your yeah, song. Let me, let me. Let me fix it's you. It's at number seven. Hold on. Let me Media fix you okay. before you say that. So on Billboard, real time, it's number five. Oh my god! Right? I <laughs> know. It's amazing. <laughs> Can I scream? <laughs> yes, I did it last night. Don't worry. I jumped around. So yes, I that in those shoes. Yes, I don't take these off. These are my lucky Christmas shoes. Now you should. So. You can't ever wear any other shoes. Why should I? Well, Christmas. exactly. If you have those shoes, why if, would you if wear Santa anything else? If brings us that covenant number, you know what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna say it. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's got a good shot. Of course it does. So yeah. But we're. I mean, trust me, we're happy. Regardless, already. Exactly. Uh, you know what I mean? It's a, it, it, it really it, doesn't matter. It's we're every, already happy, so it gets better. Exactly. Great. Anything else from here yeah. is just extra, mm -hmm. which I think is the best position to be in, it's in a, life in general. Yes, it really yes. is. The pressure of not having to get there and just letting it go where it's going to go is, a, is an I mean, amazing our, feeling. Mm -hmm. Our lives have already changed. Our oh, top yeah. 10 is just our. Yep. Sales, everything is just the boost. Is on the, the record board. label's excited? Record our family is uh, radio is excited. They're excited for another single, which yeah, that's never happened to us before in our <laughs> lives. You know, they're like, what's coming next? I can't wait. And you're like, yeah, you really want to hear it? You're you like, know, so. sure, but no, yeah, it was good though. No, that's very cool. And when, at what point did you I'll try to f the the way to phrase it, sort of allow yourself to believe that this was actually happening. Like, at what I point did you go? I still haven't either. Nope. Have it's not. all still just happening. <laughs> I, have, I have not. It's I, like I, every day still checking the phone, like, five. Okay, that's us. I we, think, you know, we, we, we do that. And Preston does it a lot more because he knows how to do it. I don't. <laughs> if I had the codes to do it, I would be able to do stuff. But, you know, it's... Really, I don't have the codes. What's he talking about? No, I mean, like, he no, doesn't. No, of course not. secret codes. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how to... I mean... I get some stuff on, on the internet, but you're good at finding the internet stuff. Anyway, yeah. we have a great That's a good way label. to fix it. I know, it's good, isn't it? We have a great label, and I feel like I can trust them. Mm, and I've yeah. never been able to say that since we've known each other. Yeah. You know, I've never had a label we can trust, and I trust these guys. Their predictions are, like, spot on. And uh, th there's, a lot of, there, there's a lot that goes on with the charts and the, and the spins sure. and the radio stations. And um, it's it's much more crazy than people think. I mean, it's wild mm -hmm. how it all works. But uh, Gator Michaels always predicts where we're going to be on Mondays. And uh, and he never gets ahead of, ahead of himself. He always knows right where it's going to be. And this week, he was wrong. And so I <laughs> called him. And and for weeks we've been you know when the chart freezes on December fourteenth where are we gonna be where are we gonna be and he kept saying I in my heart I think you're gonna be at number eight on both charts and we were like that would be incredible hmm. well we were seven on both charts <laughs> and I so I'm a little concerned about it's his good prediction job, accuracy Katie. yeah I called him I said yeah. I think we need to have a meeting because you're yeah. you're way off I just think he doesn't over overshoot you know he he tries to be realistic yeah. and if something does happen where we're at it was right like now. a Christmas present yeah that it's extra yeah. but it's yeah. that you know a phrase that clients of mine hear all the time is managing expectations yeah <laughs> you know it's he that here's the, here's the realistic under promise thing. over deliver I right. live by it every day of my life exactly he sent us a text message the other day he's like remember that time we were number seven during the Christmas holiday <laughs> <laughs> no but he so, did it really cool he sent a text yeah. that said. 
remember how magical Christmas felt when you were seven? Yeah. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. That's basically. And he gave us like two minutes to like read that and think about it. And then the next text said, on both charts. Yeah. <laughs> and when you put it together, it's awesome. He's clever like that. that Very gator. cool. That gator's clever. Gator. Well, it's, we talked about this last year. Um, and even at, actually this year, what am I talking about at CRS? You know, the lost interview. Um, <laughs> and for me, it was, I'm a pretty intuitive person, so I kind of tend to rely on that. And as soon as I saw you guys again and saw you interact with the new team, I actually told David at the time, I was like, something's different right. about There's you. No doubt. Like something was different. I said, it, it, everything feels different. This is, yeah. this is good. We were you know, even I didn't know. Nobody we, we could predict our, what was going to happen. We were able to take our hands off the we steering just wheel. Felt, I just felt like this is good. You're in a good place. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Right. That's and then that's where we were with it with this song. I mean, we were getting a lot of. I mean, this song got us our record deal. Mm -hmm. You know, it was great right. for them. They said they want to put this one out. They want to sign us to this song. So we signed with them, and it just felt like you know we're we're doing well songwriting. We're we're okay. We can live happily. Right. But, you know, we moved to this town to be artists, too, and I right. feel like there's a lot of fans out there that want to see us to be artists and kept us going. So we looked at each other and said, you know what, let's do it. Let's have let's have this shit. This is the shot. Right. And uh, he promised us he was going to take it to radio and he wasn't going to give up on it. Uh, you know, even when you get to 40, things become even more difficult mm -hmm. when you get to 30. It, you know, it takes a lot. It's of, very, it takes a very lot hard. of work. It takes a lot of teamwork and when you get to 20 it's it's even more intense and then you can imagine it at top 10 and seven and six it gets crazy and so it, he just promised us from day one he wasn't going to let go of the reins and he was going to keep after it and we believed him and he, he delivered he definitely delivered and yeah. we're seeing a lot of the stuff that when when our first the record things that we had we'll just call them things <laughs> Because they, they just never succeeded because it wasn't our fault, you know. It was just either the record label shut down, yeah, or funding stopped on everything, or they didn't want to take us to radio, right? You know, it was always that, and we you, we persevered when when the first label shut down, and we sat for three years. You know, we still had sixty shows for radio, mm -hmm. and when the label's not funding funding it, guess who had to pay those sixty shows? Chris and Preston did. Yeah. And I remember I had to give up my house and I had to move to an apartment with my wife and kid, which didn't look good to the in-laws when I'm giving up my house when <laughs> I just got married. And, you know, <laughs> so I get in the apartment and we're just struggling every day because Preston and Chris, I'm speaking, you know, third person, whatever, but it's just, we did those 60 shows on our own dime and made nothing right? because we knew one day this would happen. And we counted on it. So if we would have never done those shows for radio, we would have lost respect, which they had every right to because we promised them these, you know. But we paid for all that radio, mm -hmm. and we thank you now. <laughs> 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 and it's it's something that I, um, I don't know if you saw that kind of little write-up I did earlier this week. I, your dad was crazy about it um, he called me last night about it yeah and i haven't seen it yet <laughs> that's so cool he's like have you seen it and i was driving and i was like i haven't i haven't even been online much and he well, was like you gotta go check it out well i'll the when i saw like it was last week and i opened up the charts and it was like nine i think <laughs> last week and in my head pops this saying this you know those that management speak that i don't like but somebody I used to work with would do it all the time, and and this phrase popped into my head that said, "Teamwork makes the dream work." Yeah, you know that cliche. Nice. And I just thought, oh, I guess it's true. Yeah. <laughs> and I kind of laughed about it, but I used that later in the day to kind of write write up this thing. And one of the points I made was how inspiring it has been for me to watch you guys work. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's been... We've gotten that a lot from other artists as well. It's been really amazing. And it, it wasn't until I actually thought about it yesterday, I'm getting goosebumps now, um, last week, that I, I actually sat down and thought about what that's been. And we've talked so much over the years right. of, mm -hmm. does this still make sense? Should you pursue that songwriting right. instead? Because you could make a great living doing yeah. that. What makes sense? What still works? What's reasonable to expect? What Where should you you know, mm -hmm. put your resources, oh, yeah. what we've talked about that for so long. And, and, um, to see that 
all that foundation that you built yeah. all those years. Now, like you said, you don't do those radio shows, you lose those contacts. You didn't do the, you wouldn't well, have done also, the networking. It's not even just a contact. It's all worth You that. lose that relationship <clears throat> yeah. completely. And, you know, and, and when, when your word is bond, I mean, that's, that's all you can go by. I mean, yeah. we had given those stations our word that we were going to do those shows and there was nothing going to stop us. It's not their fault that. that the label folded. Exactly. You know? yeah. It's not yeah. our fault I mean, either, but. But somebody's got to step up and fulfill that promise. And those mm-hmm. were the guys we were. And that's who we've always been. And we've I, always I, seen that, that yeah. light. You know what I mean? Yeah. We got really tiny one time. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Maybe a like very megapixel. Tiny little. And we were like, I see something still there. <laughs> but that perseverance yeah. does inspire people. Yeah. And I think when you're in the middle of persevering and you're just, you know, you're just going and you're achieving and finally things that are starting to line up and the stars line up and the angels start singing a little bit, then all of a sudden it inspires other people and you don't even realize that we've had so many people come to us and been like, man, you're inspiring us to keep going. And it's not just singers, it's not just songwriters, but it's it's bloggers and it's writers and it's people who are like, am I really doing the right thing right now still? And questioning yeah. their own path. And they're like, you know what, those guys stuck with it. I'm going to stick with it, you know, and, and that's the cool part of it. You know, yeah. when, when you're inspiring people to, to chase after what they feel like in their heart they, they were supposed to do, right. then that's cool. It is know? cool because we, we were at a Christmas party. We were at Jansen's Christmas party, and uh, I was talking to some people that I have no idea who they are. I've heard their name around town, mm-hmm. and they work for other labels. And they're saying, hey, you, you have a really good shot at that number. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know, man. We're happy with what we have right now. That goes there. It's great. He's like, no, 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 no. Nashville's pulling for you. Yeah. And we're like, they are. I'm like, wow, really? And he's like, everybody in Nashville is pulling for you. And I thought that was awesome. And radio is pulling for us. And, you know, just to hear that, whether we get it or not, just to hear that, you know, right. we're making believers out of people, you know, and, and us. And I don't mm-hmm. think, you know, I, I hear people, yeah, I, I don't think that we deserve that i just think we've sort of earned that and we've Mm -hmm. worked hard for that and uh and and it just feels good to see people get our backs right now yeah and and know that they've seen us out there you know in our cars driving up and down the highways you know fulfilling promises going Mm -hmm. and doing acoustic shows for radio stations things like that and uh, it'd be easy to throw the talent. I mean, there's a million opportunities to throw that talent. But I, I think everybody in the industry... Uh, <laughs> just to throw just it. Just to throw it. And I yeah. didn't do it. I never even bought it. I was like, no, I'm not buying you. <laughs> but I, th- I think that's something you earn. It's a, re- it's a, it's a little bit of a respect you earn yeah. on the road that you just keep going. And you keep, you know, striving after it. And, and then people get your back, you know? Yeah. Let's talk about some music. Yes. Let's do it. I know somebody. Yes. When you look for, because you don't take a lot of outside songs, but you occasionally do. When you do, what is it that you go for? Like, what are the ingredients that the songs must have that this you one. go, that's the one? I mean, I remember uh, Ben's train at Olay pitched it to us. And I was like, man, we're just looking for some songs. I need, hey, he sent me a couple of them. And then I wrote back. I was like, no, no, no. I need monsters. And he goes, okay, hold on. <laughs> so he sends us some monsters and uh, some of them just didn't fit us but it's got to be the right vibe mm-hmm. where we can perform it live and studio make it sound cool and uh, this song just reeks coolness It's I know somebody reeked coolness like where I was like gosh it's so cool let me keep hearing it keep hearing it I tell him about it I'm like dude this is it mm-hmm. this is the song I'm telling you I can't stop playing it it was a rough demo yeah. And uh, he agreed, and it's it had Lokesh written all over it. So it has a new kind of style to it, you know, the fresh new Lokesh feel that we're going with. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It fits us. And there's just something And there's about more it. of them out there. I mean, yeah. we've heard one of, one of them is on uh, Lee Bryce's <clears throat> current album, but uh, I won't get into it. If it's not a single, I'm going to go get it, <laughs> and I'm going to steal it. But, uh, you know, there, there's – and Eric Church – uh, you know, we've heard some songs that he's written that uh, aren't on an album yet. So I'm watching that album close to see if, you know, if the new if the song that I, I love is on that album. And if it's not, I'm gonna try to go get that one. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's there's some good songs in this town. There's so many great writers. There's a lot of them are on hold, and you know, you oh, have to right, respect yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So 
Mm-hmm. And we've got some songs on hold by other people right. that we would like to have back right now. But, you know, we've given them our word that they could cut those songs. And so we'll wait and see what happens. Yeah, and if, uh, if, if it doesn't become a single for them, we might on down the road take that song and do something with ourselves. Awesome. Uh, you guessed what I said. What's my favorite song? You guessed which one my favorite song was on the EP. Oh, man. I'm going to say for you. Well, I would say it would be one of two, but I'm going to go with Till the Wheels Fall Off. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> yeah. I absolutely adore I that song. I figured it would be that one or Shipwrecked with You. So I think. Yeah, Wheels. I just, I yeah. just flipped out when I heard that. It's the first so time. different. It's a it is, but it still us. fits kind of like when you said the vibe. Like right. It still fits within that record, but it is a completely different song. You know who makes it fit <clears throat> within the record that I think we finally found our secret ingredient was Lindsey Rhymes, our producer. I was going to bring him up. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So it's, uh, it's amazing how he can take the songs, and there's no doubt in my mind that any song that we feel like is just really, really weighing on our hearts to cut I'm not worried that he can make it fit into the picture for us now. Right. I mean, if Chris goes and finds a song written by, you know, anybody and brings it to the table, I, I know that Lindsay can reel it in to the low cash sound, and he's really, you know, honed in on that for us. Yeah. Well, how was – did that relationship have to develop, or was it – because you knew him already. So was that – let's see if this works or was, was it from day one right? you're like yep we're we're good it was automatic for Preston, and then he invites me in and says you need to meet this this guy to write with him and we we go to write and he goes now just vision well i had written <laughs> with a bunch of track guys i mean i could have brought any track guy to the picture and said maybe this guy could produce us you know but i hadn't really done that and then i wrote with Lindsay, and i was sitting there just thinking the way that he interprets music is the way we hear it sort of in our minds. And I know that about the two of us. So I was like, am I right or am I wrong? So I was like, Chris. It's so positive. Too. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's like a like ball positive. of energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We set up a right and I had Chris come in and write with him. It was the three of us who were sitting there. And I said, I'm telling you, just take a listen to the way he makes his tracks and interprets music and see if this guy can be our producer. And so we're sitting there and like we're five minutes in and Chris is like, this is the guy. And I was like, I know. I, I had that feeling. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you guys have worked together long enough that you know exactly what each other needs. Oh, yeah. You know what you need you know what low cash needs. Like it's Yeah. And Lindsay stands on his own two feet about things too. It's not like he caters to just what we want. He he is really a producer with a very big input and says, yeah. Guys, you know, I don't know if we should do this or we should do this. Let's let's listen to it both ways. And he, and, he will do that. I mean, he did that mm-hmm. with Drunk Drunk for a while. And we need that in our yeah. in our world too, because yeah. you know. <clears throat> well, you're so close to some of these songs too. Like I can imagine something like a shipwreck. That's a personal thing. Yeah, it's hard to have somebody else have a different opinion sometimes. But you need that. You need Trust that outside that voice, opinion. the outside he's ears. To he's unbelievable. He's really great yeah. at what he does, and and we're mm-hmm. lucky. I think to have him on uh, our records produced by him on the front end because I think there's going to be a lot of people wanting Lindsey Ryan to <laughs> yeah, his, his phone's going to be... <laughs> yeah, and... and <laughs> I remember when we recorded Shipwrecked, we were we actually sang that in the back of the bus while it was moving. And so you hear this humming noise in the microphone. I mean, you wouldn't hear it. No one else would hear it. But the producer, Lindsey gets it back. He's like, guys, did you... um? Do I hear a bus in the background? <laughs> Do I hear a generator <laughs> buzzing? Did you did you guys turn everything off when you recorded these vocals? We're like, so it's actually in the song. Yeah. I, no, no. Uh, that's actually we're going down the road. That's the highway humming, you know. And he was like, "Great, thanks, guys. Uh, you know, I'll go back and work on this and see if I can cancel that sound out." But he couldn't. It was it, it just hilarious. became part of the magic. And in a way, that's kind of cool because that's it was. you guys have that's where you've been living for the last ten years. Yeah. It, it, it's part of your lives so much that. Why not? And yeah. Put the road literally on the right. Technology that we could do that and send an email to him. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you know, Lindsay's a great songwriter too. You know, so we get like the best of all worlds with this guy. He's he's a great dude. Awesome. Let's talk about trade offs. <laughs> like for shoes. Yes. Uh, these are the awesome shoes we Christmas were referring shoes. to. Kobe's. Because it's something we've, you've already touched on it a little bit, but I think it's not been any more clear than the past few months is the 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 trade offs that 
people have to make. Like chasing success means not doing other stuff. Right. Um, when you eventually do get there, you'll get confronted with, was this worth it? For some people, they have to make the make the conclusion. No, I gave up things that I shouldn't have done, and um, that. yeah, it's and it's heartbreaking. It. Um, but now, like the past <clears throat> couple of months, watching you both be in such awesome places, just personally, which just fills my heart, and I'm gonna cry. But it's make us so cry. Don't nice. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good to see, and then you go, "That's how you do it right." right. You know, you prioritize those things. Mm-hmm without necessarily needing to have an impact on the work that you're doing and what you're pursuing. Right. Um, how do you view that now when you look at there are the times, sacrifices that have, right. like the house and, yeah. <clears throat> you know, the things that have had to have had to happen? Um, how do you view that now when you're in this great I mean, place personally still, and professionally? I don't regret really a lot of it most anything there are times that I wish I could go back and maybe I would have done something a little bit different right but for the career wise and seeing this now I mean we were ready to do what whatever had to happen to get to this moment and then you know I have a kid now and a wife and you know one on the way so I'm like I I felt like I've always been a, a good parent regardless as much as I can be knowing I'm doing everything I do for that little boy mm-hmm. everything I do is for him and I did not know that back then. You know, he's <laughs> right. like, I'm doing this for new shoes. And new <laughs> yeah, this, I want you know. my cool Christmas shoes. <laughs> but I, I, I do everything for him now. <clears throat> yeah. And, I mean, that's where my life is. That's where I feel like, okay, I get it. I get it, you know. Some stuff, you know, I, I would never, you know, do. Like leave my kid for over seven days. I don't leave mm-hmm. him for more than seven days. I fly him out now. But the timing is just, we're in a better place because the timing is right. You know, right. he's got a family now. I have a family, and everything I worked for now, I can actually support my family. Right. So it makes sense. Yeah, you don't have that <clears throat> pressure hanging over you right. anymore. There will always be a little bit of pressure. Well, that's not Sometimes a bad you thing. Pop but the balloon is just a <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's probably not a bad thing that there's a little yeah, bit of that. Yeah, you gotta have And that. you know what it was like. Right, I do, and so does he. And <clears throat> exactly. That makes everything this moment right now surreal and just yeah. calm. And you're like, I've already done that. I've been there. Mm-hmm. And another artist come to us, and I'm like, <clears throat> dude, I've been there. And they're like, well, I'm 21. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, I've been here for six months, and I'm not I know, number one. Relax. You know that stuff. You know what I mean? We can actually help <clears throat> those people. Yeah. And. These artists that say, am, am I done? Am I done? And, and man, you know, do you want to be done? That's your question. I mean, I can't you know even, I can't even one, make yeah. a list of the sacrifices. Right. It, it doesn't even, you know, if I sat down and sat, since I was 15 years old, and th- yeah. you know, and thought about the things that I've sacrificed to get to the right now. I mean, it's been a journey since I was 15 mm-hmm. of, of getting to the top 10. I mean, it's just uh, unreal. Yeah, and uh, I, I don't. I don't think I can even put a list together. I mean, it, I would never remember it all, but I wouldn't trade any of it either because the journey is the journey that was picked for me and picked for us. And um, sometimes you can't you can't question that path and you can't question that journey and those obstacles that you got around or stopped you for a while. You just have to build on those. Or that mountain we had to camp know, out on for those, like three years. You know, those little, <laughs> those, those little failures uh, along the way, you, you pick them up and you build them in, into success and you build your walls and, and, and it, everybody's got their own that they have to either get around or just yeah. pick up and put it on their back and say, you know what, I'm going to remember this and I'm going to use this next time I run into this kind of a problem, you know, and, and you learn as you go. And man, there's been times where guys have come to town our buddies and within six months they've got a publishing deal and they've got a record deal and they've got a single going to radio and it does happen fast for some people mm-hmm. and it, it, man it's easy to sit back and be like man i wish that was us you know but then again uh it's 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 awful sweet right now to yeah. to taste this success the way that we've and had knowing, to find and knowing it. we earned it yeah you know? Yeah, and I mean, it's not that because you, you made that distinction that. between deserve and earn. Right, it's a very and I think different there's, thing. You know, there are people who come here and they have a you know sense of entitlement. It's oh, I was the biggest guy and 
Boise, Idaho, right. or wherever they're from. No offense to Boise. No offense to Boise. <laughs> I love Boise. Sure, it's a lovely place. <laughs> but the it's it's that, oh, I've been here for X years, yeah. therefore I should have this. You're like, no, mm. it's not. Well, there's no sense of it's entitlement. It's not earned. But it's not, but it's, and I think that's part of why you built such goodwill with people, that you never had that. It was never. You can't have entitlement. We deserve I, this. No, Give it no. to us now. It's what do we need to do to work for it? We're, we're blessed to have it. I mean, we don't right. deserve, yeah. you know, but, you know, and earning, we know what we have to do to get to that. You know what I mean? We know yeah. what you have to do. You got to work hard for it. You know I mean? And we did, and we still are, and we're still going to. Yeah, it's not, like yeah, it's not over relaxing, now. You know yeah. what I mean? We're <laughs> just getting started. At it's point. like, okay, we're done, people. Right. Go it just, home. It just <laughs> feels good to, to be invited into the top 10 room now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and Is there a badge that you can <laughs> I don't get, think like, there's a special badge. I might make one. <laughs> Too, but, you know. I might make one just you for should. home. You know, just for when I walk around the house. <laughs> Top ten batch. <laughs> it feels really good though. I, you know what's surreal to me is when I when I get on the charts and I look and see where we're at and everything, and I see those names. Yes, and and, and then and yours. Just, Dude, and, yes. and we're in so the middle cool. of it. We're not we're not even at the bottom of that top ten anymore. Now we're kind of in the middle around seven, six, five, and it's like Blake Shelton, Jason Aldean, Carrie Underwood, Carrie Underwood, you know Thomas Rhett, Low, Low Cash. Cash you know, Tim McGraw Sam and Sam is yeah. unbelievable. And I, I just can't get over that. Sometimes I go just to look at it and I'm just like, I did that this morning. It, it does <laughs> feel pretty good. Cause uh, I was like, before I say so, let me just make sure that that really was true. Like that I wasn't hallucinating yesterday. Yeah. Like, let me just double check. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. It's just cool to be a part like about it, like that family. That's what I'm sorry. You know, when you think about that persistence and you know, that hill you climbed and all of those things, what, what held? What kept you from going? Oh, okay, yeah, enough. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm done. Um, I think we had each other. What, what was it that we you go? No, other. I'm. This sucks right now, but I'm still staying. I think we have each other to lean on, and that's always been like a, one of the the biggest things for us in low cash. And and the belief of knowing that we had never had a real fair shot at right. radio yet. I think we, we leaned on each other to get through the tough times. Oh, but that's I think, a good point. I think knowing we had never had a fair shot at radio kept us going and saying, I, re I remember saying to myself, just one real shot, one real shot with a real label, a real song, a, a real push. Yeah. And, and if it doesn't work, we can walk away. But we had never had that. Yeah. So it's real hard to walk away from something if you haven't really had right. a given fair yourself a fair shake. shot. Yeah. You know? And we haven't. I mean, we've always been twenty percent towards yeah. exactly yeah. radio, and it's not our fault. It was the yeah. you know the labels. And some people thought we had had our <clears throat> shot at radio, and to, and that's okay because we were you going to use that it. as fuel and yeah. use you know all that. And so it, it we're just blessed or grateful and thankful, you know. Yeah. Were there any? pieces of advice like do you remember times where it was really bad and somebody came up and went you know what here's my take and and that made a difference i remember someone walked up and gave me a nail and uh it was brian white he came up and gave me a nail one day and uh and i said what's this and he said i want you to go nail that in your wall and i was like for what and he said you're gonna you're, you're gonna hang the low cash you know, a uh, number one record on that. And I was like, are you serious right now? This is crazy. <laughs> and he goes, I want you to take that nail home and I want you to put it in your wall. And uh, and I did. I took the nail home and I, I boom. And uh, so, man, I mean, that was crazy for me because I was like, somebody besides us really believes in this, you know, yeah. and really sees it for us. And I was like, and sometimes I would think, you can't give up because you're going to give up on the nail and you're going to give up on that guy who believes in you too, you know? And yeah. it's a big deal. That weighs heavy on your heart, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for me, I don't know how you feel about it, but for me, I felt, and now that I hear you talk about that desire to get that at least that fair shot, um, you might agree. <laughs> you might not, so feel free. But that even if this hadn't worked, even if this hadn't been number you know, five or whatever, right. it's still worth it. Mm -hmm. It was all worth it. Yeah. Everything. All those years. Yeah. I it mean, was all worth it. It totally makes sense now. But, you know, and do we wish it would have went faster? Yeah, maybe. But the journey has been rough, hard. But again, 
we're in this place right now and it's been it's so surreal it's unbelievable yeah. we're we're much more relaxed we were talking about it at the crs i remember us talking about yeah. and you're like what is it why are you so calm you know what i mean i'm like it just felt it <clears> was <throat> bizarre yeah. it was yeah i mean not bizarre to, no, like weird way, bizarre but way. kind of right well we had taken our hands off the steering wheel for the first time i mean there was other people helping us guide the vehicle people yeah. who we and believed in too you don't you don't ever get out of the car. I mean, you're still in there and you still got the gas down. You're still moving. You're still working hard. But now we had you know David Ross with his hand on the wheel. We had Gator Michaels coming with his hand on the wheel, and you know and, and it, trust me, if somebody was falling asleep at the wheel, we're gonna wake them up quick. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? But you didn't have, and I think that's because after all of those years, it was all you had to it was each other that's really. It. So, yeah. so, you know, those radio shows again mm -hmm. and all, you know, labels not working out and it was always the two of you. And suddenly it was no longer. I remember so David must came to us big, numerous big times and said, uh, guys, what are you doing? You don't have to do this part anymore. Like, I got yeah. this. And we were like, whoa, that, that almost startled us. We were like, what? You know, like well, it took a while we, for us. We've to always had to do the, everything. You exactly. know, we've been so hands on doing everything. And uh, we're still we were like, well, we may not do it, but can we still be in the room? Because we're, we're so used to being part of it. And he's like, yeah. of course, you can do this with me, but you know, let me help you a little bit. Let me mm -hmm. take a little bit of this off so you can go write songs, so you can go be artists and go do the things that I need you to be. And so mm -hmm. it but took also, a minute. He also believes in, in what, you know, our ideas, our our right. our families, our, our relationships with, mm -hmm. uh, with, with, you know, radio. Yeah. You know, he's like, you know, you guys did do this all by yourself. So you know what? What is your take? Because you yeah, know, he asked we're us here. for advice. Sometimes. We're here yeah. doing it all of ourselves. We didn't. We didn't fail. You know, we didn't exactly. give up. So he is wanting advice from us, and, and, and that's just input, really cool. Just input. He he always values <clears throat> our input, and sometimes he doesn't take it, and that's fine. And he's like, you know, guys, I and I disagree. We're going to go this way. And man, he's been right on some things, man. And that's yeah. That encourages us to not know that you know that we're not always right either. You know what I mean? And and sometimes to make the team work, we we all have to trust each other. And um and that's been that's been huge. That's been awesome. Yeah. Well, I think that's you said the most important word and that's trust. Yeah. In yes. something like this cuz you're it's trusting huge. them with your life. You, my family. Your livelihood exactly. You know. And more. You know that <laughs> house, those come. shoes. Right. <laughs> Yeah. The ability to buy more yeah, shoes. That's right. You know, that's exactly right. It's it's hugely important. It's not just about, you know, the shiny things. It's the real stuff behind the it stuff. that they're going to be a part of, too. Mm -hmm. So it's super yeah. important. You know, and, and, you know, it was funny. We had, we had our band Christmas party last night and uh, invited the label to my house. And they came to our house and the PR company and, you know, our our band. And I'm just like, guys, this is real. <laughs> you know, it puts it in perspective. I have a house, and you're helping me pay for this. You're helping me yeah. put this family to sleep in this room that my kid has. Yeah. You know, and we didn't go really to my cool. house because I don't have one. <laughs> He's so let's getting just one. Remember, it's He's real. Getting one. That's, now it's that's real. You, you, never, <laughs> you never needed one. Now you will. Exactly. You know, I mean, it's kind of nice. Don't let him fool you. But it, it's just cool because it puts it in for real. Like you know what, Dave? Here is. Yeah. We're we're a team. You right. know what I mean? I want to help you. You're going to help me. We're all going to help each other. Yeah. It's that real, that striving to that common purpose yeah. rather than the egos, you know, kind yeah. of that. We it happens to a lot of, a lot of projects. Sure. Yeah. There's no doubt. We've always been able to do that somehow. And yeah, I love that. And you love the slide. And I love the slide. <laughs> <laughs> it's pererfect. So <laughs> Thank you. And we love this interview. We love this interview. I can, I, I'm and we like, love you. Can,